Welcome to the System Manager training module for the Dial-In Meet Me conference room bridge. The conference room allows up to seven people to dial in and participate by entering a four-digit PIN. The audio may be recorded for emailing to all internal parties. This module covers the following topics. How to activate a conference room, how to name the conference room, how to assign a conference room PIN, how to assign outside numbers to ring directly into the conference room, and finally, how to distribute the conference audio to each of the internal participants. The first step in any system programming is normally to enter browser-based administrator programming on your PC. You can access the browser programming menu by opening your browser, in this case Google Chrome, and entering the IP address of the system. The default address of the system is 192.168.1.250. Just note that your PC must be on the same LAM as the system or on a network that has access to the system. Once the IP connection to the system is established, a login page is displayed. On this page, in the username box, enter admin, and in the password, enter 1000 press login and then you're brought to the system browser programming front page on this page in the left column scroll down to the meet me conference option if that option is not displayed it probably means that you need to get a license for the meet me conference and enter it into your system at the system licenses option also in the system setting column. Now when you click on the meet me conference option you reach the page where the parameters for the conference bridges are set. On the top right hand corner of the page there's a help option clicking there you get to a written help that describes each of the parameters that are set on the page. The first step is to enable the conference by ticking the Meet Me Room 1 enable box. Then you can change the conference room name, you can change the conference room number. Please note that if you change the number from the default 6900, then you must make sure to avoid any conflicts with the extension user numbers, with group numbers, auto attendant numbers, and the numbers used for the lines. If you want to control access to the conference room, enter a conference room password or PIN code in the conference room password dialog box. The password you enter in this dialog box will be required to enter the associated conference room and it must be distributed to all participants. And finally, if you want the audio of the conference to be distributed by email to each of the internal participants once the conference has been completed, tick the record conference enable box. As soon as you've set the parameters for the conference room you want to program, click on the save button then on back and that brings you to the browser programming front page for the system again click on the ringing assignment link under external numbers to assign outside numbers that callers dial to reach the system In this case, we're assigning the outside numbers on page 8, 816-0060. To ring the conference number, we're assigning 816-0061 to go directly to the conference room. And we're assigning 816-0062 to also ring in directly to the conference number 6900. That means that any outside callers who ring those numbers will go directly to the conference room 
and will be prompted to enter the PIN code to gain access. When we finished programming here, we've got to click save again and then back to go back to the browser programming front page. Now we should go to the email addresses link under IP settings for that the record calls option is ticked opposite each of the participants to whom the audio of the conference should be sent. Again, when we've programmed this page, we click save to save the changes we've made and then back to return to the browser programming front page. Finally, we can go to the SMTP configuration page to make sure that the email parameters are set correctly for the email address of the system and its associated server so that the recorded audio can be emailed to each of the internal participants. Again, if we change any of the parameters on this page, we've got to click Save, followed by Back to get back to the browser programming front page. Now, they're the main points in the System Manager programming for the Meet Me conference. Thank you for participating in this tutorial.